الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين. Today we were reading Surah Al-Araf. Surah Al-Araf chapter 7, it denotes the constant struggle between the truth and falsehood, good and evil, from the time of Adam until the end of time. That's what we have to expect in this life. There is always fight between good and evil. The surah gives us many stories of prophets and their people. In uh, verse 64, uh, talking about uh, Sayyidina Nuh, which we were uh, discussing in the, the fourth, in the fourth rak'ah. فَكَذَّبُوهُ فَأَنْجَيْنَاهُ وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ فِي الْفُلْكِ وَأَغْرَقْنَا الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمًا عَمِينَ But they denied him, denied Prophet Nuh. So we saved him and those who were with him in the ship, and we drowned those who denied our signs. Indeed, they were a blind people. And then talking about Prophet Hud in verse 72. فَأَنْجَيْنَاهُ وَالَّذِينَ مَعْهُ بِرَحْمَةٍ مِنَّا وَقَطَعْنَا دَابِرَ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَمَا كَانُوا مُؤْمِنِينَ So we saved him, meaning Hud, and those with him by mercy from us, and we eliminated those who denied our signs, and they were not at all believers. So the ones who defied Allah and his messengers were destroyed. The ones who were saved, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعْهُ They were firmly with their prophet. They were firmly on the path of their prophet and they deserve to be saved by Allah Taala. So the path to safety and success is only in following Allah's commands and Allah's prophets. See, these are two groups. You have the groups that were saved and the groups that were destroyed. But on the, you know, the, the, the chapter gives us the image from the beginning of creation of man, talking the story about Adam and Eve, and then it goes to the end of life and talking about the day of judgment. So there is a third group between those two. And uh, the surah addresses believers who were not decisive, that third group. They were not decisive in taking a positive role in the events around them. They were you know, negative, they were on the sidelines, they didn't care what happened. They mixed good things with bad things. So they were not good and they were not bad. They were in the middle. So in verse 44, when I'm talking about the, the, the two groups, the main groups, when Ada Ashabu al Jannati Ashab and Nar, and Kad Wajadna Ma Wadana Rabbuna Hakka and Fahel Wajatum Ma Wada Rabbukum Hakka. And the companions of paradise will call out to the companions of the fire. They can see each other. We have already found what our Lord promised us to be true. Have you found what your Lord promised you to be true? They will say yes. Then an announcer will announce among them, the curse of Allah shall be upon the wrongdoers. There are many shades of gray in, in this life. But on, in the hereafter, there's only, there's only two, two groups. There is the believers who will go to heaven, and there's the, the, the wrongdoers who will go to hell. And the next verse calls, hijab. Between those two groups, there is, a, there is a partition. And that partition has mercy on the side of the believers and torment on the side of the wrongdoers. They can see each other. The good, the believers will see what's going to happen to the wrongdoers to increase their, their, their happiness. And the wrongdoers will see what the believers are enjoying to increase in their torment. But there's a third, there, there's a third group that is on the uh, Araf. وَعَلَى الْأَعْرَافِ رِجَانًا يَعْرِفُونَ كُلًّا بِسِيمَاهُمْ وَنَادَوْا أَصْحَابَ الْجَنَّةِ أَنْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ لَمْ يَدْخُلُوهَا وَهُمْ يَطْمَعُونَ and between them will be a partition. And on, on its elevations are men who recognize all by their mark. And they will call out to the companions of paradise, peace be upon you, they have not yet entered it, but they long intensely. And when their eyes are turned towards the companions of the fire, they say, our Lord, do not place us with the wrongdoing people. Al-Araf are heights between heaven and hell. So there were people on it. 
And those people can see the people lined up to go to heaven. They haven't entered it yet. They want it so bad, but they, you know, they were on their way there. They were not there yet. And they can see the people who are heading to hellfire. They knew each, each group with their marks. So these people on that heights, they were people, they were believing people, but their good deeds and bad deeds were equal. Not enough to, put them, to take them to heaven, and not enough to end, end, have them end up in hellfire. So they were put on these heights for Allah to decide their, you know, to decide their fate later. And what a horrible situation to be in. They're sitting there, they have no idea what's going to happen to them. Who in their right mind wants to put themselves in a situation like that? To be where they don't know, is the next word going to be enter hellfire or enter heaven? We do not want to be on that, in that situation. And these were people who failed to be decisive in this life. They saw evil around them. They didn't take a stand. They said, you know, let people go to hell. And they just, you know, did not bother fight evil. Our job, especially in this country, when you see all kinds of evil being pushed down everybody's throat, and Muslims are quiet and say nothing, Better yet, they vote for the people who do that. That's even worse. We, don't, we cannot be negative in this life. We have to take a decisive stand on the path of the truth. When you see the truth, you stand for it, regardless of what the consequences are. We have to. We have to do that. So these people mixed good deeds and bad deeds. They did not take a decisive stance for in, in this life. So these people were not confused. You know, they knew truth from falsehood. They just were not decisive. So Allah, because they were not decisive, Allah put them in limbo. Go there and, and sit for a while. We'll decide your fate later. So these people are, are in very precarious situation. And anybody who thinks it's not their job to, to, to promote good and fight evil, it's everybody's job. You do it to the best of your ability. You do it, you know... Allah will protect you when you stand for what is, what is right. Allah will protect you. So there are hadith that says that these people eventually will be admitted to heaven. But who wants to put themselves in that situation where you're, you have no idea what's going to happen? In this life, we have to be decisive on the side of the truth. When you see good, right, and wrong, go on the side of right. Don't be in the middle. It's like, yeah, with, you know, wishy-washy. Do not be there. Do not, you do not want to enter into, into the, the hereafter and be placed on the Araf. That is not a good position to be in. So we must all strive to enter heaven with the group that's, that knows they're, they're going in there. We want our good deeds to, to outweigh whatever bad deeds we may do. And we will do bad deeds. We have to make sure we do more good deeds. We, we come closer to Allah. So Allah will, will by His grace, Will, will tell us, enter heaven. I don't have, I, you, don't, you don't need to be, there's no hisab, enter heaven. That's, that's the ideal. That's the ideal situation. When you judge yourself in this life and you judge it harshly, that's how Allah will, will ease your, you know, your audit. But if you just go through this life and you know, you're just like, eh, you know, whatever, 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 you don't, you don't judge yourself and you don't care right from wrong, then the, the hisab is going to be very tough. So we have to make sure that we take a decisive stand on, on, the, you know, on, on the side of right and don't, you know, don't kind of be in the gray area. Don't be good at home and then you go to work and you're dealing with usury. Don't, you know, don't be good in, in public but bad in private or vice versa. We, we have to be decisive on the side of on the, on the side of the truth, because the end of the road is either heaven or hell, and there is no third option. <laughs>